Hi, my name is Sebastian Romero and I'm Interaction Designer at Arduino. In this session, I will demonstrate the Portenta Vision Shield's motion detection features in conjunction with LoRaWAN. Let's have a look. In this demo, I'm going to use the Arduino Portenta H7 microcontroller board. It features a dual-core processor, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a secure element, a battery charger, an RGB LED and many more features. On top of that, I will use the Portenta Vision Shield with LoRa. It has a LoRa module, it has a low-power camera, two microphones, a JTAG and an SD card connector. And with this setup, we can do edge computing on microcontrollers. They are low-cost hardware, so you can do a cost-efficient deployment of those connected devices. They are also low power, which means that you can power them with a battery, which makes it portable. They don't need a persistent internet connection with LoRa, so you can only connect to the network whenever necessary. And because the data doesn't have to leave the device to be processed, it makes it a very efficient solution. Also, because the data stays on the device, you can ensure data privacy. As for the scenario of this demo, we can imagine a solution that is deployed outdoors. There may not be any sockets, so it operates on a battery. And because of that, we want to save energy. So the device should only be woken up when there is motion detected. Once motion is detected, you may want to analyze what's in the picture. For that, you could use, for example, a machine learning model to understand what kind of objects the camera sees. I'm not going to go into detail about that in this demo. Finally, we're going to send a message to the LoRaWAN backend once motion is detected. To program the microcontroller, I will use the OpenMV IDE. It is an IDE that allows to easily create machine vision projects with microcontrollers in MicroPython. We're going to register the Portenta Vision Shield with the thing stack first. And in the script, we're going to register a motion detection callback in OpenMV. Also in OpenMV, we're going to send a message to the thing stack once motion is detected. To register the vision shield with the thing stack, we first have to create an application. So let's do that. I'll give it a name, Arduino Vision Shield Demo LoRa. Create the application and then we will have to add the device to this application. So I click End Devices, I click Add, select Arduino as the brand and Vision Shield as the model, the European region, the recommended frequency plan. For the app UI, we'll use Ciro's and the Def UI can be copy-pasted from the LoRa example in the OpenMV IDE. So I did that and I will create a app key. I'm going to give this a name, Vision Shield, and that's it. So we will need both the app UI and the app key for our sketch. So let's copy that. We can switch to the Live Data tab to see the incoming messages. Then we can open OpenMV. So the idea is that the device goes to sleep, it wakes up when there's motion, it takes a couple of images from the camera stream, saves it to the flash drive, and then sends a notification to the thing stack. In this video, you see that when I walk past, this is supposed to trigger the motion detection and then it takes a couple of images of that. But of course you could also further analyze what's happening in the camera feed. The only thing that I need to change in the script is I have to update the key that I got from the ThingStack console. And then in the script we configure the camera sensor, we set up some motion detection parameters there's a function to capture some images from the camera. 
And then here, the most interesting part. Here, we register the callback for when there is motion. And then here in the main loop, the device is put to sleep. And then when it wakes up, it turns on the blue LED. It takes a couple of images from the camera feed, turns the LED off. Then the green LED turns on. It sends a message to the thing stack and then turns the green LED off. So if we run this script and trigger some motion and wait a couple of seconds, we should see that it successfully detects this motion and sends a notification to the thing stack. Usually you would get a preview of the camera stream in OpenMV, but since the device is in deep sleep, there is none. There we go. The message was received. As you can see, in just a few lines of code, we implemented a low-power, motion detection-based LoRaWAN solution that uses the Arduino Portenta H7 and the Vision Shield. This is the end of the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in.